All right, guys, Merciless Vaughn back with another Bleach Bracelets video. And in this one, we're going to be going over the mid month banner for January Valentine's that is something is coming soon. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you haven't been here for a while, go ahead and subscribe so I can get to 250 subscribers. I am making my way there. And with all that said, let's just go ahead and get started. So, as you can see, we are getting a new Mashiro, Riruka, and Momo for this end of month banner. They're on the 25th step, you do choose a new character summon ticket, which is great. This banner will be available the 29th at 2 a.m. for me, depending on where you are in the world, that time will vary. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the units. Starting off with the Riruka, she is a ranged strong attack unit with drain on all of her abilities. I guess she has the enemies defeated gimmick as the um, 2024 version of the Yuha Baha at 25 enemies defeated. She gets damage inflicted at full stem 20%. 50 enemies defeated, team slash party strong attack damage plus 20%. She is a mind, excuse me, heart hollow killer unit. Soul trait is damage inflicted at full stamp plus 30%. Innate skills, Smircer plus one, team slash party, recover 20% stamina. Siphoner every five seconds. And her enemies defeated mechanic at 10 enemies defeated, she gets Berserker 20% and then 25 damage inflicted at full stamp, 50%, strong attack damage 20%. As for the rest of her skills, she has Havoc 20%, Frenzy plus 2, Weakened Defense, Guard Break, Fire Duration minus 100%, Berserker 40%, Devastation 60%, Long Strike, Strong Attack Recharge minus 12%, and the Status Ailment Spiritual Pressure Boost. Here are the Arena Traits and other Arena Abilities. Up next, we have the Mashiro, who is a melee strong attack unit with paralysis on all of her abilities. She has the super technique link slot potions plus five soul traits. She is a power human killer unit. Her innate skills are sprinter plus one, paralysis duration minus 100%, guard break. The rest of her skills are have a 20%, frenzy plus two, defibrillator plus five seconds, damage to paralyzed enemies 40%. Berserker 40%, Devastation 40%, Team Slash Party, Power Attribute, Soul Reaper Damage to Status Ailment Affected, Enemies plus 40%, Strong Attack Recharge Time minus 12%, and Increased Status Ailment Chance against Technique Attribute Enemies. So this is definitely a character you will want to pick up just because of that Super Link Slot, or excuse me, Technique Link Slot Potions plus 5 Soul Traits. Oh yeah, the Super Technique Link Slot Potion Soul Trait. Here are her arena traits and other arena abilities. And last but not least, we have the Momo, who is a ranged strong attack unit with a boost on her SA2. She is a mind soul reaper killer unit with a heart droplet drop plus 30% soul trait. NA skills, sprinter plus one, have a 20%, and dodge soul reaper damage 50%. As for the rest of her skills, she has a Berserker of 60%, damage to enemies not affected by an ailment 100%, Guard Break, Complete Status Immunity, Booster, Frenzy Plus 1, Enhancer, Strong Attack Recharge Time minus 12%, Heart Droplet Drop plus 20%, Heart Droplets plus 10 And here are her arena traits and other arena abilities. And this is just basically explaining the new... Um, abilities that the characters have and as for the banner itself we have the three new units and we have i believe this is a yumi chica and a sun sun that came out from the manor banner that was released about a year ago cacao society okira and grimdrill white day eisen and ichigo and as for the banner itself it is 26 steps at steps 5, 10, 15, and 20, you are guaranteed one of the featured 5-star units. Step 25, choose a new character ticket. So if this is a banner you do want to summon on, and you will have to go pretty deep if you do want to get at least one of the new units. And uh, yeah, that's it. We can go ahead and take a look at their single summons. First up is going to be the Rirukas. Hers will be the 12th. Up next is the Moshiros. Hers will be the 18th. 
And lastly, we have the Momo, whose will be the 24th. And uh, so yeah, this, if you want to summon on this banner, you can. If any of these characters are your favorite characters from the Bleach series, go ahead and, and all means summon. They are your orbs, you can do whatever you want with them. Uh, me personally, I went kind of hard on the uh, December end of month banner, so I really don't have the orbs to summon in. I don't think even if I did have the orbs, I wouldn't summon anyways. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. And as usual, until next time.